Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. Grief counseling got underway at Anchovy High School in St. James and Monday morning. Following the murder of 14 years old student, Randina James, who was gunned down while sheltering from the rain at a bar. On Friday evening, the bartender was also shot and injured during the gun attack. Reports from the police are that about 6.30 p.m., grade 8 student Randino, also called Dino, of Marron Mompela in the parish, was playing football in his community when he went into a bar seeking shelter during a downpour. Two men alighted from a motor car that drove up and they opened gunfire on the occupants of the bar, hitting the teenager and the bartender. The man then escaped in the waiting motor car. Other patron escaped injuries. Randino and the bartender were taken to hospital, where he was pronounced dead, and the bartender was admitted. The children the police have commenced to prove into the death of a construction worker who fell from a fifth floor of a hotel under construction site in the parish on Saturday. The deceased has been identified as 47 years old, Old Mason Dwight Taylor of Glendavan St. James address. Investigators are trying to determine whether Taylor accidentally slipped or he was pushed from the building. Reports have suggested that Taylor fell from the construction building after being engaged in a heated argument with another construction worker. The construction on the site has not been significantly stalled or halt by the tragic development. An elderly woman lost her life after fire destroyed the top floor of an apartment building in Majestic Garden in Kingston on Monday morning. The woman has so far only been identified as Miss Pat. It is believed that the elderly woman who lived alone was cooking when the neighbors saw smoke coming from her apartment. Despite the neighbor quickly rushed to the woman aid, they were unable to rescue her. Due to the fames, one eyewitness said after firefighter extinguished the blaze, the woman burned remains were found among debris. The St. Elizabeth police are reminding citizens to report act of sexual violence against children in a timely manner. The call comes after a mechanic was last week charged with sexual assaulting a minor on two occasions, the first of which occurred last year in the parish. The accused, 21 years old Nevada Godai, have been charged with having sexual intercourse with a person under the age of 16 years. It is alleged that Godai engaged the female, minor, in sexual intercourse in 2022 and sometime this year. A court date for the accused has not yet been finalized. The police in the parish are encouraging citizens to report such case of alleged abuse within a reasonable time frame to ensure, among other things, that the suspects are apprehended and evidential material are collected. In August of this year, the St. Elizabeth Police made a call for parents to pay attention to, to behavior change in their children in order to identify signs that they have been sexually abused, especially by close relatives. The warning come a disturbing sexually abused case was mentioned in the St. Elizabeth Parish Court that month which involved a 26 years old farmer who allegedly boogered a 4 years old relatives on July 2, 2023. In reacting to the case at the time, head of the St. Elizabeth Police, acting superintendent, College Minot, encouraged parents to report case of sexually abuse relative to children to the police in this parish and certainly Jamaica. I'm sure we have no space for persons who are praying on our children. These are children, Minta declared. During the open of the sentence of the circuit court in late November, prosecutor revealed that 32 cases involved sexual offenses were done for trial in the parish.